Hi. Hi. Welcome to our dining room. Today we're doing an elephant and our letter is E. E. What does E say? E. Eh. Eh. And when it says its name, what does it say? E. E. That's right. All right. So we're going to start off today with um, something we're grateful for. Today I had toast and um, sunflower butter. That was delicious. So that's something I'm thankful for. Kai, what is something you're thankful for? I'm thankful for my breakfast. I had a breakfast burrito with eggs. Mm, yum. And Kalani, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for um, having the same and having um, breakfast burrito with um, eggs also. Nice. Okay. So what we're going to do today is start with the eye of the elephant. And so what we're going to do is find the middle of our paper and then go up, split that section in half. And that's where our circle is going to be for the eye. So we're going to make just a circle. And now we're going to make a backward C around the eye. So it's gonna come off just a little bit and then we're gonna ride on that line all the way around to make the eyelid. And next we're gonna go ahead and start at the very top middle of the paper. And this is gonna be the head of the elephant and we're gonna do a C shape. It's gonna be a, um, a wide C shape down and that's gonna be his head or her head, depending on if your elephant's a girl or a boy. And now from here, we're gonna do the um, piece of skin that holds the tusk of the elephant. And so it's gonna be a L shape. We're gonna go up one finger width up, and we're going to start there and come down to make an L shape past the C line tip and over to make an L. Okay, and that's gonna hold the tooth, or the um, tusk. tusk of the elephant. Um, and then after that, we're gonna do um, an arch for the tusk. We're gonna start up a little bit in from the, the corner of the um, piece of skin, and we're gonna go out gradually into a point. We're gonna follow the same line, but we're gonna make it wide at the top that means far apart, and then it's going to go narrow as we go down, and just also, like over here. And also, the tusk is actually a bone in the elephant that's out of the elephant's body, just like one inside. Really? That's great information. Thanks for telling us, Kalani. All right, next we're going to do the trunk, and we learned some information about a trunk. What can the trunk pick up? It can pick up a coin. A coin. Can you believe that? It can pick up a coin, a small coin. Um, so we're going to, oh, Kalani has a coin he's showing you. A small coin. That's what a trunk can pick up. So we're going to go ahead and um, also we learned that the trunk has a finger at the end. Some e elephants have two fingers and other elephants only have one finger. And that was an interesting fact. So now we're going to do the um, trunk. We're going to start up at the tip of the L, the top tip. We're going to go um, a backward C shape down to the uh, tip of the other tip of the L, just like that. And then from there, we're going to make um, the trunk, which is going to be wide, and then it's going to get narrow, and it's going to come off the page. You can see here, it comes round, down, and off the page. And then it's going to come back up and curl. So let's start over at the tip of the C, backward C, and the bottom of the L, and go wide and then get more narrow, right, for the trunk. And now we're going to go ahead and go over to the tip of the um, tusk, and we're going to, right above it, we're going to make this part. And this is kind of like the lips of a smiley face, right? So we're going to go ahead and do the lip of a smiley face. And then it's going to keep going around to a backward C all the way around, just kind of like a roller coaster, down and off the page, just like that. Did you know that they could peel their own bananas with their trunks? 
That's pretty interesting too. And we're gonna go back around and down. Do you see how they're different? Because each piece is so unique. All right, next is the ear. So the ear is gonna also be off the page, okay? So the top of the ear is way up here. So we're gonna estimate on the corner, maybe a finger width in, if you're using a regular size paper, finger width in is where you're gonna start your ear. And it's gonna be a long backwards C and then it's gonna drop down and come around, just like this. And there's the ear. And now we're gonna do the eyebrow or um, the line above the ear, of the, above the eye. And that's gonna come, it's gonna be lined up with the backward C of the eye, the lid. And it's gonna go straight across until it gets to the edge of the circle for the eye. And then it's gonna go sharp angle diagonal down, like the first part of when you're making a V. And we learned that, um, where in the world do they paint? Um, India. India, they paint elephants um, and make them look beautiful with natural um, resources that they have. And they do that in a form of celebration or worship. And um, we also learned that elephants have great memories, that they can remember a lot. That's kind of cool too, right Kai? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Kai, we're gonna move on, and yeah. now we're gonna get ready to paint. Yay. Yay, or color if you're using crayons or um, marker, and um, you could use any colors you'd like. Oh, first, actually, let's put some lines in so we have some marker points as to what we're creating. So I'm going to create a crown. So it's just a swivel mark across. And then I'm gonna create um, a mouth of a happy face, just like that. And I think for the, down here I wanna remember that I'm gonna put some lines because usually the trunk is a little wrinkly and it has some lines in it. And feel free to pause this at any time. And um, I think that's it for me as far as what I'm gonna add in right now. You're gonna to wanna to do this, if you're doing it in paint, you're gonna to wanna to do it in layers um, because if, as you can see, some um, parts are on top of others. What I like to do is do my background one color, if you could, or um, a few different solid colors. I've got white, purple, and um, blue as my background here. And then I'm doing, um, using brighter colors for the elephant. So there's a contrasting color and it kind of pops a little bit more. Um, if you would like to, you could do the same using a variety of colors that you have too. And also you can make your own designs like of your, fa like of your favorite movies or yeah. like designs of different pictures of art on your elephant. Right, like Kalani was saying he wanted to add Star Wars to his elephant. Right? So he's going to do that. Did you already add that on? Yeah, and Harry Potter. And Harry Potter symbol. So he's going to add that to his, which I think is wonderful. So what we're going to do first is we'll do the um, actual um, background, and then we'll go over with the elephant. I'm going to choose for my background on this one. I'm going to do some red and oranges, orange on the background, and some white. What colors are you guys gonna do? Maybe um, every shade. Blue, purple, green. And I'm gonna Great. Get every uh -huh. shade of purple we have and the dark other colors. Oh, okay. So, what I like to do too is um, also run my paintbrush with a solid color around the lines. And that happened, and that happens sometimes. Not a big deal. Go ahead and tape it back up. And let's go ahead and I'm gonna run it around. And I might go in with a more narrow paintbrush later to get some of the white spots that I wasn't able to get. 
See how I'm running my paintbrush? One smooth stroke. And I'm gonna keep my tusk fairly white. So I'm not gonna go in with my color right now. And if it gets a little bit into the trunk, no big deal because we're gonna go back over it with other colors. So we'll go down, around. And I'll go in with some red. And we also learned that they love what? What do elephants love? They love um, plants and grass. Yeah, they eat plants and grass. I'm falling apart. They also love to play in the um, they love water. They play in the water, yes. That's right. A lot. Now I'm doing the X marks again to give the background texture. I'm going to go now in with my white. Hope you're all having as much fun as we are with these videos. We look forward to it every day. And I love that we're getting um, friends to chime in and say that they've done some art. We've got Arlen and Aiden out there that have done art with us and Shar Shar um, and some other friends too. If you put your name in the comment section, then we'll go ahead and um, give you a shout out. Just fun. So that's my background for right now. I'm probably gonna go back over it with some other colors a little bit later, um, but I'm gonna leave it like that for now. So next I'm gonna do um, his trunk. I'm gonna do him or her purple, blue, and white. So that's what I'm gonna paint our friend here. So I'm gonna start up here with the ear. I'm just gonna do some pink and then purple. And then eventually I'm gonna go in with some white too to help blend it out. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and um, do this video in two parts. So I'm gonna pause now and um, go ahead and open up the next video where we will be completing this. It's easier for me to download it in sections um, because this painting is gonna take a little bit longer than some of our others. So go ahead and um, uh, take a pause and we'll see you in just a minute, okay? Thanks.